Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to talk about Prometheus. So first, I'm going to explain to you what is Prometheus, why we use Prometheus, Prometheus architecture, Prometheus metrics, any last installation and demo. So let's start. So firstly, what is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source Linux server monitoring tool mainly used for metrics monitoring, event monitoring, and alert management. Prometheus has changed the way of monitoring system and that is why it has become the top level project of Cloud Native Computing Foundation, that means CNCF. Prometheus uses a powerful query language, that is PromQL. In Prometheus, tabs are on handles hundreds of services and microservices. Prometheus use multiple modes used for graphing dashboarding support. So that's the Prometheus. So the next is why we are using Prometheus. So the why we are using Prometheus, that's the reason a multiple dimensional data model with the time series data identified by matrix names and key value pairs. Then PromQL is a flexible query language to leverage the dimensionally, then pushing a time series is supported via an intermediary gateway. Then multiple modes of graphing and dashboarding supports. Then no reliance on data, uh, distributed storage, single server nodes are at autonomous. Then time series collection happens via a pool model over HTTP. So that's the reason uh, we are using Prometheus. So the next is Prometheus architecture. So you can see here, firstly, Prometheus server. So in Prometheus server, there are uh, storage and PromQL. Then uh, in top, service discovery, then left, scrap target, in right, alert manager, and user interface. So let's understand one by one. So firstly, Prometheus server. So you can see here in uh, architecture, Prometheus server. So Prometheus server is a first component of Prometheus architecture. Prometheus server is a core of Prometheus architecture, architecture, which is divided into several parts like storage and PromQL. In Prometheus server, data is scrapped from the target node and then stored in the database. Then storage. Storage uh, in Prometheus server has a local on disk store. Uh, Prometheus has many interfaces that allow integrating with remote store system. Then second, PromQL. Prometheus uses its own query language that is PromQL, which is a very powerful query language. PromQL allows the user to select and aggregate the data. Then the next component is service discovery. So the next very important component of Prometheus server is the service discovery. So with the help of, help of service discovery, the surface are identified which are needed to scrap. To pull metrics identification of service and finding the target are compulsory needed. Through the service discovery, we monitor the entities and can also locate its target. Then in write the scrap target. So once the service are identified and the target are ready, then, the, then we can pull metrics from it and can scrap the target. We can export the data of endpoint using node exports. So the once, mat once matrix or other data is pulled, Prometheus store in a local storage. Then the next component is alert manager. So alert manager handles the alert which may occur during the session. Alert manager handles all the alert which are sent by Prometheus. Alert manager is one of the very useful component of Prometheus tool. And if in case any big uh, or any issue occur, alert manager manage those alert and contact with human via email, text message or, or a call or any chat application service. Then the last component is user interface. So user interface is also important component as it builds a bridge between user and the system. So in Prometheus, user interface are nodes that much user friendly and can be used till graph queries. So that's the Prometheus architecture. Then the next is Prometheus metrics. So firstly, what are metrics? 
So matrix play an important role in understanding why your application is working in a certain way. So let's assume you are running a web application and find the application is slow. So you need to uh, some information to find uh, out what is happening with your application. For example, the application can become slow when the number of requests are high. So if you have the request count metric, you can spot the reason and increase the number of server to handle the load. So, so you can see here, the metrics new uh, there are uh, four four metrics four uh, core metrics count histogram summary and gauge so let's understand one by one so the first is count counter so the counter is a cumulative metric that represent a single monotonically increasing counter whose value can increase or be reset to zero on restart then gauge a gauge is a metric that represent a single numerical value that can arbitrarily go up and down then histogram a histogram samples observation and counts them in configurable bucket then in last summary so similar to a histogram a summary sample observations while it also provide a total count of observation and a sum of all observed value it calculates configurable quantities over a sliding time window so that's the matrix prometheus matrix types uh, four types so now we are going to start our installation so now we are going to install a prometheus on amazon linux 2 so here i'm using <coughs> Uh, amazon linux to instance to connect my amazon terminal amazon, amazon linux to terminal so let's start our installation so clear the screen first and now firstly we have to do create a system user for prometheus using below command so firstly, we have to create a system user. So let's start. Then, then the next is create the directory in which we will be storing our configuration file and libraries. So create the two directories. Then set the ownership of the uh, of this directory with below command. So let's run this command. Then you need to inside your uh, slash tmp uh, directory. So run the command cd slash tmp slash. Then download. Uh, Prometheus. So, uh, so now let's uh, assume uh, you, you can see. Uh, so now it's a uh, old version. So when you install Prometheus, you need to um, go to the official page of Prometheus. So you can see the official page. So click on download, and if you scroll down, you can see a tar dot gz file. So copy the link address, and now we are going to install with wgate. wgate. This, this is the latest version of Prometheus. So clear the screen. And the next is you need to extract your file using tar. So run the command. So firstly, ls and copy this dot uh, gz file. And now we are going to extract the file. So run the command tar hyphen xvf and paste the dot uh, gz file. So it's done. So clear the screen and yes. And now we are going to inside this file. CD and paste here. So now clear the screen. And the next command is 
So you can say move the configuration file and set the owner to the Prometheus user. So let's run this command. Then next. To move configuration file and set the owner to the Prometheus server. So clear the screen now. And now move the binaries and set the owner. So now create the service using this command. So now we are going to create this uh, file. And in this file, we are going to add this line. So firstly, run this command with nano. And now we are going to add this file into this particular file. Now save the file and exit. And now uh, we need to reload uh, the system. So run this command to reload Prometheus. So it's done. So now run the command. Uh, so allow, now we you need to start our Prometheus. So run the command firstly. Mm, so clear the screen. Then run the command sudo systemctl. Start Prometheus. Then check the status of our Prometheus. So you can see active running. That means it's successfully installed. So now, now how to access Prometheus in browser? So let's understand. So firstly, you need to Copy your IP address. You can see the uh, public uh, public IP address, and then colon and our port number is ninety ninety. It's nine zero nine zero. So you can see a Prometheus time series collection. So you can see now we are using, uh, I'm sorry, now we are accessing the uh, Prometheus in our browser. So if you can, see, you can see alert, graph, status, and in status, you can see your targets and all. So you can see a uh, in alert graph. So you can see here uh, the graph. So select the option and graph. You can see the graph here. And if you choose another option, duration second. Okay. So now we, are, uh, we have successfully installed Prometheus in our Amazon Linux 2. So in this video, we have learned Prometheus, uh, what is Prometheus uh, and how to install Prometheus in Amazon Linux 2. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps channel.